How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to a very special FC24 video on the channel today. We are going to talk about everything we've learned so far about eSports FC24. For cheap, safe and reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out the best place on the market, u7buy.com, to get your coins within 10 minutes and don't forget to use my discount code CROSSY and guys for cheap game codes and prepaid Xbox and PlayStation cards G2A is the place for you check the link down below first of all guys let's talk about the official release date of FC24 and according to eSports it's officially confirmed the game will be released on September 29. However guys, if you decide to pre-order the Ultimate Edition of FC24 instead of the Standard Edition, you will be able to play the game 7 days early, on September 22. Now let's make a comparison of the Standard and Ultimate Edition so you guys can actually pick one of the two versions. So, if you guys decide to spend a bit more money on the Ultimate Edition, so you are going to get up to 7 days early access, 4600 FC points, it's called FC, previously called FIFA points, now called FC points, access to Nike Ultimate Team campaign, Team of the Week 1 Ultimate Team player item, Nike Ultimate Team lone player item for 24 Ultimate Team matches and Nike Esports FC Ultimate Team Kit. So basically this is the extra content that you guys are going to get for free if you decide it's not for free basically because you're going to spend more money on the Ultimate Edition but this is what you guys are going to get alongside the Ultimate Edition something that you will not receive with the Standard Edition. And guys it doesn't matter if you pre-order the Standard or the Ultimate Edition make sure you guys pre-order the game by 22nd of August limited time offer created by EA Sports you are going to receive an untradeable UEFA Champions League hero card in Ultimate Team on 27 November only for those of you that pre-order the game in the upcoming 35 days in FC24 the new official cover will be Holland guys he will replace Mbappe from FIFA 23. We all know that Mbappe was the best gold card in FIFA 23, so I'm pretty sure that in, in FC 24, Holland will be above all. His gold card will be the best in the game. Every single year when eSports announce their official cover, they kind of boost the player stats because they always make their official cover the best card in the game. This year, not only Holland will be the official cover of FC24, but also he's currently one of the best ever players in the world, so that's one more reason for eSports to boost his in-game stats and make him the best card in the game. And of course, probably the most expensive one that you guys can buy in Ultimate Team. Something completely new regarding Ultimate Team guys in FC24. Create your own club legend by upgrading players via evolution objectives. So basically you guys are going to select a player and go from zero to hero using that card. But keep in mind that you won't be able to upgrade that player within 10 20 days. You guys will be able to upgrade that certain card during the whole FIFA cycle and also guys, esports are the guys to decide how often they will release objectives so you guys can actually upgrade that certain player. So basically esports control everything. So it doesn't matter if you play 1000 matches day one or if you play 1000 matches during the whole FC24 season. In order to upgrade your certain player in the club, you have to follow eSports objective regarding that player. And in my opinion, eSports are going to release maximum one objective per week, meaning that to make your card look incredible, 90 plus rated, it is going to take you like nine, 10 months or something like that. For those of you that actually enjoy playing career mode, you've got a brand new camera angle called spectator mode, absolutely incredible to use in the career mode, something completely new, something that 
make you feel like you're on the pitch alongside Holland and all remaining legends. In FC24, the shh celebration is making a comeback, unfortunately, that's bad news for the casuals and great news for the toxic part of the FIFA community. FC24 will provide us with Nike promos, Nike campaigns, special Nike car design and the Nike campaign will most likely only contain players that have signed contracts with Nike outside FC24. In FC24 we've got a brand new promo cards as well talking about UEFA Champions League hero items and most likely the UEFA Champions League hero items will replace the World Cup hero items from FIFA 23. In FC24 esports have announced something completely different women. You guys will be able to build a hybrid squads of women and men playing in the same starting 11 squad in ultimate team. For champions, division rivals, squad battles, drafts, you guys will be able to create hybrids of men and women. That's something completely new that we've never seen in the history of Ultimate Team. If you guys are curious why the game is called FC24 instead of FIFA 24, the reason is really simple. FIFA and esports separate ways, meaning that FIFA, the organ organization FIFA, will create their own football game. It won't happen in 2024, but in 2025, FIFA are going to create their own game with the name of FIFA 25, while esports are going to have FC 25. So basically you guys will be able to play two different football games. But don't worry, we've got plenty of time for this to happen. So in 2024, the only good football game that you guys will be able to play is called FC 24, created by EA Sports. FC24 will be powered by Hyper Motion Engine, just like the previous FIFA edition. Esports have announced three new skill modes in FC24 via their official game trailer. Number one is the new special Rainbow Flick animation. Probably you guys will be required to use players with five star skill modes in order to perform it correctly. Skill move number two is a variation of borrow and drag back. Probably you guys will be required to use a four star skill player in order to pull it off. Skill move number three is called the nutmeg skill move. Probably you guys will be required to use two or three star skill move players in order to properly execute the move. FC24 will have brand new goalkeeper animations defending animations, shooting animations, passing animations, gather animations. So this is everything we know about FC24 announced by eSports so far, but keep in mind that in the upcoming days, months, we are going to get some deep dives on gameplay, career mode, match day experience, ultimate team and clubs. Basically in July, Esports are going to reveal more new features regarding the gameplay and the career mode. In August, you guys are going to get more details regarding Ultimate Team, Clubs and Match Day experience. So this is everything we know so far regarding FC24, officially confirmed by EA Sports. I'm not going to talk about rumors, I'm not going to talk about leaks that may happen or may not happen. We only talk about facts that are officially confirmed by the company. So this is going to be the end of today's FC24 video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on FC24 and what else do you guys want to see esports announce regarding FC24. Pretty sure that all of you want to see some new ultimate team game modes announced by esports but i guess you guys have to wait 30 more days until esports officially reveal everything regarding ultimate team thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later bye bye